What is going on? This is Darius from Autofair Nissan here, and today we're going to take a quick look at this 2019 Nissan Murano Platinum. Let's check it out. Under the hood, we're going to have a 3.5 liter V6 engine paired to a CVT transmission and all wheel drive. You're going to have these very nice looking aggressive LED daytime running lights, LED headlights, and then LED fog lights down below. This is going to be our pearl white color, and you've got some nice black accents in the front too to help break up that color and uh, style a little bit. Big old 20 inch wheels with some Bridgestone tires wrapping those. On the mirror here, you're gonna have built in turn signals and cameras down on either mirror and in the front and in the back for your round view monitor system. You back out a little bit, you can get a view of the, the whole shape of the car. It's gonna have this kind of long, sleek profile to it. A little bit longer wheelbase, a little bit of uh, this nice slope up here on the hood or on the roof coming back. Uh, just to give it, you know, just slightly different look than a lot of your other SUVs. Gonna have these vent visors that go with them as well. Nice dark tint in the back. Let's get this unlocked here for you. Take a look in here, that seat's all the way back. But uh, the Platinum's gonna have this diamond quilted style seats in here. Back seats are gonna be heated. You got your USB plugins there. Very cool. If you look up, got your big panoramic moonroof up there as well. So that extends from the front seat to the back. Let's go to the trunk area, which we can pop from our key fob using this button right here. So I'll press and hold that. It's going to start opening up on its own. All motorized. You got your platinum all wheel drive badging. Back here, you're going to have a ton of space. So this is our size up from the Rogue, size down from the Pathfinder. So not quite the three row SUV size, but more room behind the second row seats than most SUVs um, that are just five seater. You've got these levers here that you can use to put the seats down. So you give that a pull and that's going to drop that down. If that seat weren't all the way back, it would fold flat. And then under here, you're going to have access to your spare tire and your Bose Acoustic Wave subwoofer. Very cool. Let's go up to the front. Here we are from the driver's seat and you're gonna see this awesome looking wood paneling inlay into the doors and the dashboard here. Looks great on this car. Really breaks up the black interior quite a bit. It's just a little bit darker. Now you come down here, you're gonna have your memory seating, heated wheel that gets nice and warm really quickly. Uh, here you're going to have controls for your advanced drive assist display. So you've got things like your digital uh, speedometer, your navigation, driving information, fuel economy, all your safety stuff, tire pressures, and a ton of settings to really customize through and make it your own. The 2019 also, like I mentioned, it's only got 32,000 miles on it. So that's nothing. It's clearly somebody did not drive uh, a whole lot with this car. Automatic headlights right here. There's your fog light control on that lever as well. Rest of your steering wheel controls are here too. So if you're holding down here, you can kind of reach over with your thumb, hit your volume here, hit your source for your music. Use that to skip and go previous on your uh, presets and music. Uh, over here is all your cruise control options. This does have intelligent cruise control with distance pacing. So when you have your cruise control on, you can use this button right here to adjust your, your distance control. So you can see up there in the top right, it's going three, two, one, three, two, one bars up in the top. That's your distance, short, long, medium. So you can adjust that for uh, however far away you wanna be from the car ahead. So that's really nice right there. This is also motorized. So you've got this little joystick here that's gonna raise and lower it, as well as bring it closer or farther away from you. So that just gives you an extra layer of kind of customization and being motorized too, that'll save as part of your memory seat position. So it'll return to that spot every time. Here on your touchscreen, you're going to have your Sirius XM, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, built-in navigation. And then with this camera button here, you've got a front view and overhead view right there using those cameras that I pointed out before. That's the passenger side front wheel. So if I start turning the wheel, you can see that tire kick out in real time as I'm turning this. Um, so that's really good for parallel parking. And then that goes back there. When you go into reverse as well, that's going to automatically give you backup and overhead, and you can use the camera button to cycle through. Down here, we go to drive. We've got our manual shift mode as well, where you can use simulated gear ratios uh, if you want a little bit of extra control. Over here, you're going to have dual zone climate control with an auto function as well. USB ports down here, 12 volt. This plug is just to keep anything from uh, ending up in there inadvertently. A little storage here couple of cup holders and then these are really cool here you have these dials for your heated and ventilated seats so turn it to the blue side for uh, ventilated turn it to the red side for heated you've got high medium low and then 
same thing on the other side uh, you've got off there then low medium high back to off this is going to be nice and padded comfortably tons of space in here as well as this extra little storage tray so that's really cool for you you can get a little bit of extra stuff fitting in here and then up here on the mirror we're going to have our home link if i can get that focus there we go there's home link one two and on the other side of the green light is number three and then an on and off button uh right there for the auto dimming function the all important sunglasses holder sos button for telematics if you subscribe to um nissan connect services then your light controls and your glass controls for your panoramic moonroof. So this one on the right is gonna do the sunshade, this one's gonna do the glass. So if we just one touch that, that's sliding back on its own. Hopefully I covered everything you're hoping to see in this video. If I missed anything, leave us a uh, comment in the comment section down below. I try to respond to all of those uh, same day. Other than that, let us know if you wanna come see the car. It's located here at 45 Fourth Avenue in Stroud, New Hampshire. Thanks for your time, thanks for watching. We hope to see you soon.